In the era of modern warfare, dominance of the electromagnetic spectrum is crucial to achieving combat superiority. Turkey, through its defense company Aselsan, has developed Koral, a mobile electronic warfare EW, system designed to disrupt, deceptively intercept, and neutralize enemy radar systems. This system is a strategic element in Turkey's current military force structure, particularly in cross-border and regional operations. In 2025, Turkey launched the latest version of its ground-based electronic warfare, EW, system, Koral, as part of a broader effort to enhance its strategic defense through its steel dome multi-layered air defense architecture. This modernization marks a major shift in Turkey's ability to dominate the electromagnetic spectrum in both defensive and offensive electronic warfare operations, originally developed by the Turkish defense electronics company Aselsan. Coral is a manned portable EW system designed to detect analyze and disrupt enemy radar systems. It was first delivered to the Turkish Air Force in 2016. The modernized version, often referred to as Koral 200, or new version Koral, includes several significant improvements over the previous configuration. This upgraded system has approximately double the power of the previous Koral, enabling longer range jamming and greater jamming, effectiveness, the system utilizes an advanced phased array antenna architecture that enables active electronic beam scanning. This increases agility in targeting multiple transmitters and enables a faster response. Multiple target engagement and broad frequency coverage. The system can engage more than one radar threat simultaneously across a wider spectrum. This increases its resilience and flexibility in complex threat environments. Designed to adapt to evolving threats, the modernized Coral can integrate with other systems, e.g. sensors, UAVs, broader command networks, more effectively. The system aligns with the Steel Dome architecture, which is designed to unify kinetic systems, sensors, radars, and electronic defense, EW, under a coherent defense umbrella. Faster deployment Better protection for operators and a more efficient control system are all part of these improvements. The system is designed to perform effectively, even in harsh and contested environments. The upgraded Coral system is not simply a technical upgrade. It plays several strategic roles in Turkey's defense strategy. Coral serves as a critical component of the Steel Dome multi-layered air and missile defense system. By suppressing enemy radars through jamming or deception, these systems help create safer air corridors for Turkish aircraft and UAVs, thereby increasing freedom of maneuver in contested airspace. In recent conflicts, drones and unmanned aerial systems have increasingly come into focus. Effective Electronic Warfare EW, allows drones to operate with less risk from enemy radar or missile defenses. The Coral modernization enhances this capacity. By developing and deploying these systems domestically, Turkey reduces its dependence on foreign suppliers for critical defense technology. This supports the development of the national defense industry and is helpful in situations where access to foreign systems may be limited. Having robust electronic warfare EW, capabilities enhances deterrence making enemy radar air defense systems less effective. In areas with contested airspace and overlapping defense systems, this can be a major advantage. As adversaries invest in radar survivability, anti-jamming, frequency agility, low probability of radar interception, etc., EW systems must continue to evolve. Operating in a cluttered electromagnetic environment can degrade performance and increase the risk of friendly fire, or BDE, disrupting one's own systems. While mobility helps avoid detection, powerful EW systems may actually be more easily detected and targeted. Protecting these systems and their operators is crucial. In some cases, the use of electronic jamming or attacks poses risks under international law or escalation, particularly if civilian systems are affected.